Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Yes, you're right next to me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I have a great idea. I'll do the talking up here, you do the talking down there. That sounds like a plan. So here's a quick update. After spending three months in Cabo, we decided to make a change and flew to Puerto Vallarta. No direct flights. We had to stop over at Mexico City for four hours and then to Puerto Vallarta. After a long travel day, we finally arrived at our resort, Grand Lux Vidanta. And guess what, bro? What, Nia? We had our own elevator that goes directly to our room. <laughs> was sick, bro. 6,000 square feet of luxury, baby. Large gray room that opens up to a huge balcony. And a plunge pool. Two master bedrooms with large bathtubs. And past the bar, down the hallway are two identical guest bedrooms. This place was ginormous. Yeah, actually this whole resort was humongous. Huge. Enormous. Jumbo. Mega. Titanic like. A one week stay is not enough, so I can visit my dad to stay a few more weeks. So this vlog won't be about Vidanta. That will be for the next one. Instead, this vlog will be about a surprise villa during Valentine's week. So today is checkout day from this ginormous resort, Vedanta. One week stay here is definitely not enough time to give you guys a proper tour. So we decided to book an extra two weeks. But first, Nelvin has a surprise, unique Valentine's Day stay for us. I don't know what it is. He won't give us any hints. Go on, Day. Give me those hints, Yeah, tell us. Give me, those uh, give me those hints. Can you get one hint? Okay, okay. It's a beach house villa. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome. This is for you. You'll be taken care of. We have a maid. We have a chef. Yeah. Yeah. And there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Do you like it? Oh, my God. Happy Valentine's Day. Gracias. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's to me. <laughs> You're the best in the You really have to be here to experience it. Yes. Like, I saw pictures when I was booking this. And I'm like, oh, this looks nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But once you get here... It's a whole different story. Nelvin just told me that this villa is featured in a book as one of the most stunning beach villas in the world. And I have to say that I definitely agree, and it wouldn't be fair without a proper villa tour. So with that being said, welcome to Villa Azul Celeste. This villa is located on the south zone of Puerto Vallarta, offering the most breathtaking views of the Bay of Banderas, making you feel that you're directly above the sea. So please excuse my audio if you can hear the crashing waves in the background because they're literally right beneath me. Like you're in a luxury cruise ship. What? What did you say, Melvin? Sound like you're a luxury cruise ship. What? With so this villa has 4,000 square feet of interior space and an extra 2,000 square feet of terrace space. It's three levels, not counting the fourth level, which has access to the beach. So on this level, you have the heated infinity pool surrounded by comfortable lounge chairs, patio furniture, and this cool bar. And what's even cooler is the indoor-outdoor flow to the two poolside guest bedrooms. Each having their own bathrooms, but one being the most unique we've ever seen. Moving on, let's check out the master bedroom, which is situated on the third floor as you walk upstairs, you're greeted by these art pieces that for sure makes you feel like you're in Mexico. 
Now here is a disclaimer. We've actually only slept in this room a couple times because the kids are scared of these dolls, muñequitas, and some of the paintings. But Melvin loves this space. It has its own floor, surrounded by peace and tranquility, a large closet, and his favorite, a shower overlooking the ocean. Now my favorite part of this villa is the second floor. Full of traditional Mexican furniture and folk art that decorates its open air architecture. It has the best view of the ocean. It also has plenty of sitting to host a large gathering like this living area. Dining table here and another table to play your favorite board game or work on a puzzle. And a little lounging spot where you can just sit back Take it all in and watch the sunset and hang out with the fam. Also the perfect spot to watch the diverse marine life like the humpback whales that migrate every year during this time. And just when you think this place can't get any more awesome, you are also provided with a private full staff. And not just any staff, but the most friendliest, warmest, and professional people I've ever met that really makes this villa ultra special. Like Maria, the chef who can cook up the most delicious Mexican meals. Chicken mole, enchiladas, taquitos, all from scratch. Mm, it's so good. And we have Flor, the housekeeper, who not only keeps the house spotless, but also does our laundry every single day, wash and fold it. And let's not forget about Juan, our butler who gets us what we want at any time. Coffee right when we wake up, check. Snorkeling gear, check. Kayaks, check. And jet skis, check. Yes, Juan just called somebody. Jet skis just arrived and we're ready to roll, guys. Another reason that makes the villa so special is its location. And to better understand, it's helpful to know that Puerto Vallarta and its surroundings are divided into zones, north to south, within the Banderas Bay, which by the way is considered to be the largest bay in Mexico. Now, our villa is at the border of the south zone, which makes it an easy five minute Uber drive to the romantic zone, also known as Old Vallarta. This zone is very charming with its colorful facade and many different restaurants to choose from. So they've got lumpia here in Puerto Vallarta and they've got pancit. And right next to the romantic zone is Kuala River, a great place to shop for souvenirs. So guys, I just found this out. This is its own island. It's called Isla Rio Cuale. And there's a Mexican restaurant, River Cafe, that we recommend. It has such a cool ambiance overlooking the river. Now north of this river is downtown, which is the oldest part of the city. Wow, that's beautiful. Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish. It is a beautiful church that symbolizes Puerto Vallarta and there's this beautiful crown that sits on the very top of the church that's been there since 1965. We recommend you stopping by this beautiful church. And right next to it is this cute Mexican restaurant called Gabby's which serves up the best fajitas and giant burritos. And the best way to enjoy downtown Puerto Vallarta is to walk around the Ma Malecon. Malecon? Malecon. Malecon, which is their boardwalk. Malecon. Malecon. <laughs> and enjoy their various art sculpture. And it is free. Yes. Yeah. And if 
if you're not too tired, grab an Uber and head on to the next stop. Our next stop is Mirador Serra de la Cruz to get a good look of all of Puerto Vallarta. Para fits, let's go! <laughs> Okay, so we just got dropped off at the top of a hill. This is now where the lookout is. We have to walk all the way up because the car can't make it up the hill. So we are on a very steep street. And as you go further north of the bay, you'll be right in the midst of the hotel zone. Here you'll see more of the well-known hotel chains like Sheraton and Holiday Inn. They also have plenty of options for shopping like the La Isla Mall. We're going to the Isla Mall, which is Pokemon Source. Yeah, we're trying to be Pokemon hunting boys. H&M too. No, 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 no. Only Pokemon. Pokemon is the best. We didn't find Pokemon, but we did find this. Next to the hotel zone is the Marina Vallarta, filled with boats and yachts. It's a great place to take a stroll and grab a bite to eat. And this marina has a lighthouse called El Faro Bar where you can have bar bites and drinks and enjoy a beautiful panoramic view of the ocean, the mountains, the marina here in Puerto Vallarta. Orale. And if you keep heading north of the marina, you'll find yourself in Nueva Vallarta, which is where Vidanta is located. Again, the villa we stayed at really offers the best of both worlds, tranquility and a quick Uber drive to all of the Puerto Vallarta entertainment. And to top it off, we had the best and most friendliest staff that we're definitely gonna miss. Whoa, what's going on, guys? So today's our last day, and we're gonna give the staff a really good tip. They've been making our bed, laundry, and they've been doing great stuff. And chicken mole with the pina colada. Oh, so yummy. Yes, the best chicken mole ever. Cough it up, Dad. You guys gotta count them first, okay? okay. I'll count split them up. So guys, what's the grand total? We got 20,000 pesos up in here. What if we drop the money in the pool? That would be horrible. Then we go back to the ATM. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 